time hearing this song I was standing in a lawn at some fun day or some party or something like that and this song was playing on the sound system you know it was playing on a sound system and while the other kids were you know running around having fun and all playing you know there was something about that this song that you know grabbed my attention and, and it was pulling me in pulling me in and I listened to the song from the very from the beginning to the very end you know, from that time I knew that reggae, you know, reggae was for me. You know, every time I get the chance to perform the song on stage, I remember the first time getting the chance to perform the song on stage, you know, I got that same feeling. You know, it took me in a different world. And um, I'm actually getting the same feeling putting this tutorial together for you guys. Anyway, big up to all my subscribers, all of my viewers, from the jump up until now. If you are new to the channel, this channel caters for reggae, soca, ska, mento, and on and on. Once it's island music, put your request down there in the comment section. Also, let me know how you feel about the tutorial at the very end. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. The red button is right down there. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Hit all. So when I post a new video, you'll be the first to know. This one is entitled Rat Race by the King of Reggae, Mr. Bob Marley. Grab the guitars and let me show you to play this one. Let's go! Okay, children, gather round, gather round, gather round. <laughs> now, this song has two cards, right? Two simple cards. Um, so once you get these two cards, the rest is left up to how you strum it. All right. So if you do not know how to strum, guys, stick with the tutorial up until the very end. All right. Don't just jump and get the cards and go and play. And then when you start playing, it's like, oh, it doesn't sound good. You know, I'm going to teach everything. You know for a guitarist you know so um so two cards um yeah and an intro so the intro starts like this all right so we're gonna make this tutorial as quick as possible and you know straight to the point again That's basically what they play. And then you can play the active. Going back. That's what I play. You know, it's good to switch things up, jump to the, you know, the higher register or the lower register at times in the songs. So, yeah, so this is what I play. I start from here. I hammer on from on the first string. First string, um, sixth fret to the eighth fret. So it's. Then you go up. Second string fourth string no third string my bad <laughs> miscounting there we go again back then slower again then Again, then you want to play the octave, it's here, then back to where you're coming from. All right, so let's go slow. Here we go. And if you want to use a wah pedal, you can. 
But let's do it raw first. Here we go. Then to the octave. It will sound like this. That's basically for that part. So here are the two cards you're gonna be using. You're gonna be using a, you're gonna be picking up on the C minor. So you wanna bar the old eight fret, right? Place the um, the ring finger on the fifth string, and this is a tenth fret, right there. Okay, you can place a pinky finger on the fourth string below. If you want to switch it around, switch your fingers, if it makes you comfortable, do that because you know it's all about how comfortable you feel on the guitar. Alright, so let's just use, let's use this, lift the pinky finger and you're going to get that C minor 7. Alright, so that's the C minor, C minor 7. And you're going to use a B flat major. So you want to come all the way up here to the 6th fret. Place that middle finger on the 3rd string. 3rd string, 7th fret. Pinky finger on the 4th string, 8th fret. Ring finger on the 5th string, 8th fret. So that's what you're using. Those are the two cards. So when you go... Pick up. All right, so you're going to be picking up here on the C minor or C minor seven, if you so choose. All right, so you go. Oh, what I want to raise. So go. Oh, what I want to raise. Right? So you can choose if you want to do this. Right? Or you can do Oh what a round ray. Oh what a round ray. You know you can choose if you wanna or if you wanna and I can tell you that this is definitely in the sound. Okay, so that's basically how you move. In the song. So if you go, oh, what a rat race. Oh, what a rat race. Then back here. You gotta jump quick back here. Oh, race. Oh, what a rat race. Here we go again. Alright, so for this part, I'm all the way up here to the 11th fret and I'm buying the 1st and the 2nd string and I slide, I slide to the 13th fret. So, or you can upstroke if you want to get that 1st string to ring out more. So here is it slow. Oh, what a rock, oh, what a rock,
then you're going to keep it normal in the verse. All right, because that's where the singer gets to do his thing or the instrumentalist, whosoever is playing the lead, gets to do their thing. So you're going to keep it easy right there. And that's basically what you play in the song. You know, if you want to use a double scan. You know, you just got to fill it up as, you know, feel the song and, you know, you know, let it play. So, um, yeah, for the strumming, you want to strum. And now, you want to concentrate on the thinner string, especially if you're playing with a band. All right? So, you want to... You can hear the squeeze in here. I'm applying pressure. Because that is how you're going to get it to mute. Alright? If you just squeeze and hold it there, you're going to get... So you got to squeeze and release. We're going to make this sh sharp. You want to concentrate mostly on get those. So if you're holding the card in full, that's just for stability. All right. Now, if you're not playing with a full band, you probably want to play. You know, because there are some bands that the guitarist is the you know the one guitarists are the ones holding the cards. But like I said, if you're playing with a full band, just concentrate. Sorry, my bad. Concentrate on your thinner strings. All right? Make sure you're strumming and you're muting. All right? You mute with the palm. Also, you want to come back and stop it here. Just, you know, to ensure that it's muting properly. So let's recap. The intro. And that's basically it. You just go to the tempo of the song. Probably I was moving a bit too fast here, you know, but once you listen to the song, again, guys, if you do not know the song, go back and listen to the original so you can have a better understanding of what's happening here. You know, always listen to the song first before you get to the tutorial because then the confusion chips in and then you're going to be like, oh, where am I, you know? So get that. That is basically the song. That's it. Yeah, man, a very simple and effective song from Bob Marley. I hope this tutorial was helpful, you know? So um, let me know how you feel about the tutorial. Put it down there in the comment section. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? You know, hit the subscribe button, hit all, hit the notification bell. So that whenever I post a new video, you will be alerted. My name is Zan. Blessed love. I'll see you next time with another tutorial. Peace out.